Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And as you can see, there is a ton here. Probably the most that I've ever done in one video. I think the record previously was six. Here we have nine cars that I found all at once, which is pretty rare to find, um, especially in a part of the country that's not the South and doesn't have a huge NASCAR fan base. Um, but yeah, uh, this actually came from the same store in Manville, New Jersey, where for weeks and months, all they had was the old Daytona 500 wave. Then I went there this morning and all of a sudden it looked freshly stocked and I cleaned it out immediately. Um, there was like three or four left by the time I left the store. Um, which ironically about half of those were still the old Daytona 500 cars that still no one has picked up. Um, uh, anyway... I guess uh, without further ado, let's um, open these nine cars, all from Wave 6, So, uh, except this one, which is just kind of, uh, I, I don't really understand the um, drag racing uh, waves. I, I don't really understand it. They just seem to uh, be very random whenever they appear in stores, uh, kind of like bonus waves, actually. But uh, anyway... Um, so my point is, I've actually finished the entire Wave 6 in one trip, which is, like I said, something that I've never been able to do before. And weird thing is, I just found Wave 5 last week, and I had to go to a Walmart that was half an hour away as well. So it took me forever to find any Wave 5, and I only found half of it. But then without really trying, without really expecting anything... I got all of wave six plus one. So that's a little weird. Okay, it's been two minutes. Let's uh, let's finally open these things. Okay, so here they are unpackaged. And this group just has so many great paint schemes. Why am I shaking? Jeez. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, this pack that I got has so many great schemes. Um, I'm glad that we have a 2018 Casey Kane car. That's pretty cool. Uh, to have any Levine Family Racing entry in a uh, in a die cast. And then to finally, after years, have an Xfinity Series number one of Elliot Sadler. That's pretty awesome. And all of these are pretty cool as well. Uh, so yeah, let's start left to right, top row to bottom. So first we have Kyle Busch here. Um, he has the hood along with him, sponsored by Toyota on the back. Of course, NASCAR authentics as well, but that goes without saying. So, yep, it's his normal interstate batteries paint scheme that he's been using for years now. And it still looks pretty good. <laughs> I like it. Okay, now moving on to his teammate Daniel Suarez. His number 19 peak performance antifreeze and coolant car. Uh, comes with a magnet, which I really don't have uh, any room anymore. It's whatever. And this is, I, I guess you would say it's the standard peak paint scheme uh, for any driver. Uh, I think any car that's ever had peak on it has pretty much had this paint scheme. Any uh, NASCAR stock car, I should say. I know Clint Boyer sponsored it and Blue Def. Um, the number 15, his last year there. And, uh, yeah, this is a really cool car. Now we're moving on to NHRA. Move, like I said, it, it, these drag racers only come up in stores once in a blue moon. So it's really good when you can get one. This is only the third one that I've found in total. And, um, don't really collect drag racing cars. Basically, it's just like finding a bonus wave car. You only see them a couple times a year, even if that. So it's pretty rare to find one of these just pop up. Um, so yeah, here is the magnet that comes with it. As you can see, it is peak performance again, but on a drag racer. The reason why I corrected myself about the paint scheme before is because I looked over and saw that this paint scheme is different. So every... Um, every paint scheme is not the same, it's just the same on stock car. 
And uh, another thing I noticed is the three cars that I have are all Force related. Um, this one is John Force, the other two that I have sitting over there. Uh, which, yeah, it was that shelf, but you can't really see it. Um, there's two Advanced Auto Parts Courtney Force cars, one in red and one in pink. So most of the drag racers that are produced by NASCAR Authentics, pretty much Force <laughs> is all you're going to get so far anyway. And now we move on the second wave in a row that includes a secondary paint scheme for Chase Elliott, or an alternate, I should say. You can't have more than one secondary, technically. So here is the magnet that comes with it. Lots of magnets today. Magnets I don't have room for. And it is just the normal Sun Energy 1 paint scheme you're probably used to, but on the number 9 instead of the 24, well, obviously, like has been. And yeah, uh, so now we move on to our fifth of nine cars. It's probably going to be a long video because it is nine cars. Um, here we have the Kevin Harvick number four Jimmy John's car. Comes with the hood, which I dropped. And the Jimmy John's car overall hasn't changed that much over the years. This year has a lot more white on it, especially on the roof. And I do like how they did change it up a little bit. I know they have changed it a few times, but not as much as this, and this still isn't even that much of a change. So moving on to the bottom row of cars here, we have a Kurt Busch Haas car, comes with a car magnet, and we actually have not, or I haven't seen, a um, die cast of this paint scheme, of his Haas scheme, since around 2014 or 15, which actually that car's sitting in a plastic case over there because that's the first die cast I ever got signed earlier this year at Pocono. And uh, so obviously it, it's nice to have an updated paint scheme that's not three years old or more. It's the same basic paint scheme with a little bit of change as you can see. Um, I don't really know what to call that, but, but it, it's different, trust me. Especially if you know the old paint scheme. Now we move on to Kyle Larson's Credit One Bank car. And this also comes with a magnet. And it's his main sponsor for this year after Target left. And so you've probably seen this car on the track a little bit, at least, since it is his main sponsor now. And there it is. So now with these last two, I really like the best, honestly. Just because it's not one of them. These two are not any one of the main competitors. Of course, Elliot Salary is a main competitor in the Xfinity series, but you don't see a lot of a lot of Xfinity series cars in these waves, especially not Xfinity cars that weren't driven by full-time cup drivers. So anyway, let's before we get on to Sadler, let's uh, look at the Casey Kane car. I don't know if this is the first ever die cast produced by NASCAR Authentics for Levine Racing. Uh, but it's cool to have one, especially because it's Casey Kane in his last season. Uh, as you saw there, it comes with a magnet. And I think this is the main paint scheme for this year, Pro Core. I know it's uh, definitely a major um, sponsor for them. I don't know if it's their primary. I think it is, but don't quote me on that. So yeah, like I said, it's really cool to have a number 95. And uh, last one here, as I already talked a little bit about, is Elliot Sadler. One main financial with the magnet, car magnet. And it says something else on the hood, too. Lending done human. Okay, yeah, th that's, I guess that's their uh, new slogan, because they started having commercials now, and I've, I've seen that all year. So this is the main paint scheme for 2018. They said it's great to finally have this after years. Finally great to have a number one Xfinity Series, Elliott Sadler, in these NASCAR Authentics waves. And uh, they can actually put the series sponsor on here for once because it's Xfinity Series and it's not energy drink. And uh, it looks like this is the Super Speedway spoiler as well. Because Xfinity has like different spoilers for different tracks. Uh, but yeah, anyway... That is pretty much it 
Thank you for watching guys. This is the longest diecast video I've done because it's the most cars I've done in the video. I'm really glad to have found all of Wave 6 plus the NHRA John Forrest car. And uh, I'm done with Wave 6 already, but I'm still looking for half of Wave 5. So that hopefully will be the next video. I will find the remaining four. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.